treat. Good? How's that human treat? <laughs> Good? We're in the Dodge on I-80 heading east. Going to likely get a camper tonight or tomorrow. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! It's very loud. <laughs> you have to shout to hear each other. Next big urban adventure, pop-up camper. Woo! -hoo! It's a nice night to buy a camper in Waterloo, Nebraska. Go Big Red, of course. Test run for the camper in the driveway last night was successful. Sleep seven. Can't wait to hang out with friends. Come on in. The AC's on, so it's nice and cool in here. To your right, when you walk in, you have a king size bed. Comfy. We have upward lighting, two lights. Everything unzips to have screens open for when it is nice and not humid. Stovetop, sink, fridge. This is our kitchen. Dining set, benches with a pop-up table. Now we're looking to the left. This is the door we just came in. Storage. The AC is plugged in here. And cold, cold, cold. <laughs> and then this side is a queen size bed. So that's nice. And this actually folds down also, these pads fold down into a smaller bed as well. Overall pretty awesome, it hooks up with a ball hitch, another little storage cubby. But the plans for today, it's Sunday, June 6th, 7th, June 7th I think. And the plans for today are to scrub everything down and scrub the exterior really, really well as well. We got the bucket of suds ready. The first breakfast. It's a 1998 Coleman Santa Fe. Super pumped. And we'll bring you along for the journey of cleaning to remodeling. Whoa. Step one, sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> sun, sun chase. nice mustache. Sun-dry the cushions. Taking everything out. Everything. All mats. Everybody thinks that a mustache is for police work. It's wrong. It's for nurse work. Keep working. <laughs> All the cushions are sun drying. Just airing them out. Step two will be to vacuum. Everything really, really good. The lower cabinets, the upper stuff where there's bugs and cobwebs. We're taking everything out. Woo woo! Nice ass, Scott. <laughs> There's what it looks like minus the cushions. Hi, Wally. We're on step three, cleaning the exterior. Really good. Putting the boys to work. Working men. We scrubbed the front already. It looks way more white and different and better. <laughs> Just some years of dirt and grime coming off. Oddly satisfying. <laughs> Wipe down the canvas. I know it's windy, but this is already so much cleaner. The other side is as well. The left side of the camper is drying. It's 
like a whole new color of white. <laughs> Amazing what a little bath can do. Haven't scrubbed the roof yet, but we'll wait until it's closed probably later. Um, now I'm gonna work on the inside with some Mr. Clean solution and a warm washcloth and just wipe down all the countertops, floors, cabinets. So that'll be my project in here. I'll wipe down these, clean the floor really well. We need one more run over with the vacuum just to get all the dust and stuff so I'm not shoving that around. We took the AC unit off to try to clean the filters, see if that helps anything. There's no leakage going on in here, so that's good. Put that back on, obviously. Clean the stove, clean the sink, clean inside the drawers. All that good stuff. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Not, a, not bad. All right. <laughs> All that's left to clean is the fridge, floors. We've cleaned every drawer, vacuumed every surface, cleaned under the bench, repurposed that with zip ties. It's an electrical cord. And mom's gonna cut some cork for the drawers for me. And I just need to wipe down this countertop, this countertop, the floors, the fridge. We have a whole list of stuff to get at Walmart. So that'll be the next trip. I'm whew, sweaty, but the AC is cool, so that is a plus. But we'll go to Walmart. We have a few things to get to make some minor improvements, and then we'll shut her down this afternoon and haul her out for our first official camping trip. I'm so excited, so excited. <laughs>